Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. That beautiful color that you just saw, I think is my absolute favorite color of hair to date. I love, 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 love this emerald color. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I did it from start to finish. So let's jump right into it. The wig that I'm wearing in this video is from Don Malie. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes and direct links down below in the description box. I'm wearing a 22 inch 13 by four lace frontal wig. The texture is body wave. This wig does have a pre-plucked hairline. The cap construction includes three combs and an adjustable strap. So here's how the beautiful wig looked when I took it out of the package. I do love the density of it, the hair texture. It's super soft and flowy and bouncy. It does have a very natural looking luster. Here is the hairline up close. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grab a 20 volume cream developer and my BW2 powder bleach. I'm going to add a few scoops of the powder bleach and then I am going to add that cream developer to the bowl. I'm going to mix it until it's the proper consistency or texture that I'm looking for, which is more of a looser texture. When I get that proper consistency, I am going to apply it to the wig from roots to tip and I am going to fully dye it blonde or a lighter brown color. So I left the bleach on the hair for about 40 minutes and then I washed it. Now it's time for the next step. I'm grabbing a bowl and some hot water. I am filling that bowl up with hot water. So today I'll be using two colors by Kiss Colors Express. I'm using two in K27 Forest Green as well as one in K22 Emerald. I'm using one and a half of the bottles of forest green and then half of the emerald. I'm going to basically pour that into my hot water and then I'm gonna stir it and then grab the wig and plunge it in and out of that hair dye. My reasoning for plunging it in and out of that hair dye is so that it can be an even distribution of color. And when I get to the frontal, I am going to allow it to submerge in that water with the rest of the hair, but I am only going to allow it to soak with the rest of the hair for about two minutes. And then I'm gonna grab the frontal and take it out of the dye. I don't want to stain the lace at all. And this is a huge, hugely important step in not getting your lace to stain is to basically just allow it to sit, stay there for a, a couple of minutes and then take it out. Now that I have the frontal out, I'm just gonna use two hair clips to keep it sitting there. I do have the option of hand painting the frontal if I want to, and that will help it not stain the lace. But now that I've allowed the hair to process for about 40 minutes, I'm going to wash it. To wash this wig, I'm grabbing Ion Color Solutions with Color Defense. This shampoo is a gentle cleanser for maximum color protection. After washing the hair, I did decide to bleach the knots of this wig because I wanted the hairline to look as flawless as possible. Bleaching the knots, when I did that, it lightened the hair of the frontal. So the hair came out lighter at the top, as you can see after I bleached the knots and it's darker at the bottom. I already know that I'm gonna have to go in with the hair dyes again and basically plunge it and do the water method just so that it could be more of an even color. I do want the frontal to be as dark as the rest of the hair and that is the reason behind me going in again and doing the watercolor method again. This time when I do the watercolor method though, I am not going to allow the frontal to submerge in the water at all because if I do that, that will defeat the purpose of me bleaching the knots. If I do that, the knots will turn green and that's not what I'm going for. So I am going to plunge it in and out of the water, but when I have the frontal, I'm just going to pin it onto my bowl and I am just going to hand paint with my brush the frontal portion of the wig and you're going to see the results they're so worth it and it's so beautiful you can see me right now plucking the hairline of this wig because of course i want it to look as natural and beautiful as possible so to pluck the hairline i will be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting
One thing that I failed to mention earlier is the second time that I did the watercolor method, I did also add in a little bit of the jazzing ebony hair color. I added in not half of the bottle, but a fair amount of it to darken the hair color a little bit. And the reason for me using black is because this particular hair dye has a green undertone. So it's just gonna give it a really pretty flawless finish, which you'll see in a second. Okay, to style this beauty, I'll be doing face framing layers, grabbing my comb and a pair of scissors. I'm just going to start cutting it. Now that I am satisfied with the haircut, I'm going to style it by curling it. I'm going to grab small sections of hair and my Chi Spin and Curl device, and I'm basically just going to do body wave curls going away from my face. Obsession, obsession. This is easily in the top three of my favorite wigs that I've done in 2021. I'm obsessed with it. I think this is my absolute favorite, it has to be. Now it's time to install it so you guys can see the absolute magic happen and what all of that hard work was for. Prepping my skin, I'm going to use 70% alcohol and clean off my hairline. Next, I'll be grabbing Walker Tape Scalp Protector and applying that to my hairline as well. Grabbing the wig, I'm just going to make sure that everything is lined up, meaning that the air tabs are where they need to be and all of the combs are in their proper placement. I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and cut two slices in the extra lace. That's going to create three different sections. I'm going to push the wig backwards and pin back the left and right portions of this wig. Grabbing got to be ultra glue gel in the black tube, I am going to start with the middle section first, applying a thin layer to that part of the wig, then I'm gonna blow dry it until it's tacky. Using a baby hair brush, I am going to brush all of my hair backwards so that none of the black hair will be exposed. Grabbing that extra lace, I'm just gonna place that into the tacky got to be ultra glue gel and using the back of a rat tail comb, I'm just going to press it into it. I'm gonna follow those steps for the left and right portions of this wig, and then I'm going to put my headscarf on for 15 minutes and allow it to set. 15 minutes later, it's time to remove my headscarf and cut off that extra lace. I'm blown away by this frontal. I'm blown away by this look. I'm just blown away completely. Using my scissors, I'm just going to cut along the hairline to remove the extra lace. How do you feel about this color? What would you name this color? I'm on the fence. I was thinking Emerald City or Envy, Envy Emerald, Green Goblin. I did a custom green bob a couple of years ago that was similar to this green, but it's just something about the blue tint, the green, the length, the hairline. All of this is just giving me everything that I need right now. Of course, you have the option of darkening the parting space so that it could be like black, so that it can look like it's dark roots, but I chose not to do that. I was just so floored and obsessed with this hair color. I love the blue tint to it. I love the different shades and the variations of greens throughout this wig. It looks like it has like highlights and lowlights, which I'm obsessed with. Let's chat down below about this wig overall. Make sure you guys check out Domily. I'll have all of their information down below. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're old here, or if this is, you're a second or third time watching my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell down below and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.
Jose. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay.